Hello everyone, my name is Sinmer and we've got something new for you today. However, before we get into the video, I'd like to take a moment to tell you that nearly 70% of people who watch our videos are not subscribed. If you're not subscribed, you could do me a huge favor by liking the video, commenting below, subscribing to the channel, and ringing that bell. It really helps out the channel and lets me know that you're liking what I'm making. Alright, without further ado, let's get into the video. And we're just camping them right now so they can't do anything. Their choices are uh, die and uh, die. Because they're dirty cannibals. Let's go sell their uh, their leader to the to Bastion to the cannibal hunters. <coughs> Yeah, let's go do that. Maybe that will work out for us. Guys, Fen is holding. It doesn't have a, a bounty on his head, but the chief does. I think Beef is holding the chief. Beef? No, it'll be Greenfinger. He's holding the cannibal chief. So once that cannibal chief is sold to the cannibal hunters, I think that tribe will be dead. Yeah, it should all work out nicely. So with the fall of these guys, we will be uh, moving away from hunting cannibals because we basically exterminated them all. And I think that one town might be a zombie town, might be a zombie cannibal village in that it can't be killed. Because I've already ran into one of those. We can stand there and just camp it for like an hour and nothing will happen. <coughs> so it is what it is. <coughs> right, let's go into the Bastion. And where is their leader? Hello, you. Okay, so this guy doesn't have any bounty or anything, so I'll just throw him on the ground. He'll probably die to the uh, cannibal hunters when they wake up. Um, two. So, green finger. Uh, talk to him. Okay, yeah, take him. Nice. Are you just taking that guy and throwing him out? Because <clears throat> if they are, that's hilarious. <laughs> I think they might have, like, shot him. So he might be dead. I'm not sure where they threw him, though. But either way, that works for me. <laughs> He's out here. Cannibal, cannibal Chief. This guy... He's unconscious and should be bleeding to death. This guy is unconscious and <clears throat> has been healed up a bit. Let's go pick him up. You go pick him up. Now let's go over here to this tower. And we don't have anywhere to put them, unfortunately. Well, you know what that means, right? We need to find inventive ways to kill these people. <clears throat> so, let's go over here. Yes. Put him down. Wrong way. Face that way, beep. Put him down and see what happens. <laughs> awesome. I love it. It doesn't actually hurt him, though. Walk the plank. Where did he go? He, de he teleported. Alright, guys. <laughs> no, that all seems to work nicely. And how are you guys? Yeah, I think this is just a zombie village. It's the cannibal remnants, so... 
They'll just stay there forever. <clears throat> this one's dead. This doesn't belong to anyone. So yeah, there's just uh, cannibals out here. Uh, that are remnants. We can't wipe out the remnants, I don't think. I think they will just zombify forever. But uh, what we will do now is probably head back to our base. Base Alpha. Now the cannibals are effectively annihilated. And we will make our way over to the Leviathan Coast. Just starting out, no mods. That That's my suggestion. Um, if it's your first time playing the game, I would recommend you not use any mods whatsoever. And just play the game and enjoy it. Now, I do have a guide on YouTube. Uh, that's like sort of a quick start guide. Uh, it recommends that you... <clears throat> it, it explains some of the concepts of the game. So you're not entirely lost. Uh, the clip notes is, if you start as a wanderer, you will start over here in the hub. And so with the hub, you actually want to run over to this kind of run over this town called Squin. Quickly jog over there. You'll be able to see the hub and Squin on your map when you start out as a wanderer. <clears throat> and you'll see a sign that has like a person walking with a staff. That's a travel shop. You need to go in there, and you need to buy... Nice. And you need to buy this. So an advanced splint kit, and an advanced first aid kit. So, and then you need to come over, you need to hold shift, you need to hit medic. What that will do is it will make it so that your character will auto-heal himself or herself. And uh, if you were an organic life form, if you were a robot, if you are playing as a skeleton, then you need to get a repair kit. Uh, those are really expensive and sort of out of your price range. So there, there are these, built in repair kit. Um, beyond that, just explore, make sure you have enough food to not starve to death and try to enjoy Kenshi. That's really all the advice I can give you with us, without like telling you how to play it. There is no like, there are no quests in this game. You make your own decisions on what you want to do. Uh, katanas are very good in the early, early game, but against enemies that are using armor or that are skeletons, uh, basically robot people, uh, katanas are really bad, and the end game is mostly just skeletons. Um, okay, so martial arts is... Let, let me explain martial arts to you real quick. So, it's not a trap, but it is something that is definitely very good late, late, late game. Here's why. To get for martial arts to be good, you need to get strength really high, you need to get toughness really high, you need to get dexterity really high, you need to get dodge really high, you need to get martial arts really high. So that's three attributes and two combat statistics that you have to get really high. Um, it's not impossible, but it is definitely something that will take an incredibly long time. Uh, especially on vanilla experience rates, to have martial artists that are really good. Uh, until they get to where they're kind of good, they're basically going to get curb stomped by practically everything. Just just so you know, it's, it's one of those things that... Um... <coughs> yeah, uh, yeah, that can work just fine. Um, your damage, yeah, with the uh, hold command. You can also go with um, taunt and block. Block will make the character defend themselves more effectively, so they'll be able to take more swings. Um, the lower your skill, your effective skill is, compared to their effective attack, the more experience you get per swing. <clears throat> yeah, there we go. Hold just makes them stand in place, by the way. Uh, but it can be really good. It can be really useful. <clears throat> but alright, let's see. Ben's going to get back to making some heavy armor. And uh, yeah, everything works great. By the way, this playthrough is on YouTube, and I have lots of other playthroughs of Kenshi on YouTube. Uh, same name, Fenmore. So, by all means, go ahead and check those things out if you like. Um, but yeah. 
No, so dodge is for unarmed only, or when you're staggering after you get hit. So melee attack is for weapons only, melee defense is for weapons only, dodge is for unarmed, or so when you get hit, you go into a stumbling animation, and if you and if someone takes a swipe at you during that stumbling animation, you use your dodge to avoid the attack. If that makes any sense. <clears throat> So when a character is stumbling, they cannot use their weapon to defend themselves. So they are effectively unarmed during that time. So they will uh, have to use the dodge skill to avoid getting hit by attacks. Uh, what other questions do you have? Because I'm, I'm here to help you out. loads. Yeah, just ask away and I'll see what I can do for you. I am sick, so uh, that might not sound the best. <clears throat> you can also on YouTube uh, leave, leave questions and any of the Kenshi playthroughs and I can uh, get back to you there. <clears throat> oh, we're getting attacked by somebody. Cool. Who is this? It is cannibals. No, they are they are definitely uh, they are definitely um, <clears throat> very ambitious. <laughs> um, I think if you assassinate that, so that's the assassinate skill. Um, so how things work in Kenshi is your misdeeds don't actually, they, they cause faction damage, but they don't, it's not like an immediate you attack them and your enemies with them. So, <clears throat> um, so if I found, so for example, with these starving bandits, because they fought some starving bandits, and uh, did and because I fought them a little bit, I have a negative ten with starving bandits. But until they get to like negative fifty or positive, 50, until they get to negative fifty, they won't be your enemies and attack you on sight. If that makes any sense. The starving bandits themselves may to, might attack you on sight, but that's just because they need your food. And usually they say something like, "Sorry, but we need your food," or something like that, or "Hand over your food." If that makes any sense. Now, if you thunk them, so you, so you just take a little bit of reputation damage for attacking uh, people, and assassinating them usually uh, doesn't do that much damage. Usually, one hit. They aren't going to absolutely hate you immediately, but anyone that you have attacked will att will fight you, and any guards of that faction that are around, or any characters of that faction that are around, will also jump on you. If they see it happen. Does that make sense? <laughs> All right. All right I'm going to close these gates. I'll leave that one open. And uh, I'm probably going to go get some more medicine. So I will be right back. Alright guys. Let's go ahead and uh, save. And hope they all don't know when I'm, while I'm away.
Alright, so, where were we? Everyone seems fine, no one's dead. At least I don't think anyone's dead. Nope, we're good. So, let's see. We've exterminated the cannibals. And these guys are zombies. They can die. Just like over here, these guys are dead, those guys are dead, and these guys are zombies. Yeah, it's just nothing but cannibal remnants at this point. So that works great for me. So, now with that done, our next objective will be to head over to the Leviathan Coast and uh, raid some ancient tech labs and stuff like that. And that should work fantastic. Alright, well, I do think that's all the streaming I can handle right now with this cold, so I will catch you guys later. Go leave me a, if you're on YouTube, go ahead and leave me a like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell, and just share the video with whoever you think it would like it. If you are on Twitch, go ahead and leave me, if you want to, go ahead and leave me a follow, a subscribe. If you want, you can subscribe. <clears throat> uh, if you have Amazon Prime, you can subscribe uh, with Amazon Gaming, I think it is. I'm not sure. But uh, yeah. All right, guys. Thank you very much. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Hello, everyone. So you're probably wondering why I've been where I've been for the last... You know several days um those of you who are not in the know i was very sick uh, i don't think i had corvid uh i don't i do not think i had that what i do think i had was maybe a uh, some degree of some degree of um the flu and the common cold at the same time and that was just rather uh, gnarly, I guess we'll say. I, like, I still have it. As you can tell, like, I guess I still have it. I still have it a little bit. But, uh, you know, uh, give give me like a, a week or so. <laughs> and then the, uh, the like the, the higher pitches of the voice will start coming back, uh, hopefully. Maybe if I'm lucky. All right, so we've got this one going on. Got that high will shot be a night. Yeah, because we have five of them. And wait. Okay, we have the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right, that's right. Yeah. Okay, well. We have a ton of hackers. Mew's making those, so that's good. Um, how are we doing on food? Also, Fen's carrying all this stuff. Let's go incinerate a bunch of stuff. Um, does everyone have... A big hack air. Not the Garu, we need to give the Garu some hack airs. And then they can, uh, you know, hold them in their teeth like that one guy from One Piece. Whatever his face was. And then, like, cut people with it. But anyway, let's, uh, let's see. What can we do? Is anyone holding any stuff they don't necessarily need? Aside from water? And you, hmm. there we go. Let's do these. We'll just incinerate. Well, melt that, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll totally melt that into something. <laughs> I don't know how much raw ore this can hold, so this might uh, backfire at some point. I'm assuming we can hold fifty. Okay, and that won't give us anything. Okay, so this will tell us... Yeah, I think it can hold 50 and that's it. So, let's put 50 on Holy. Uh, hmm. Let's put that in there. And then Holy, just loot it all. That works. Alright, Holy. You need raw iron? No. Somebody else needs raw iron, though, for beating plates. Is it you? 
Now you need steel bars. It's not you. It's for beating metal plates. This one. I don't know who does Shrike. Shrike does that. Alright, Shrike, do you have a backpack? No. Damn. Okay, beep. I want you to run over here. Give that a try. Now, holy. I want you to come over here. And, uh, Shrike, I want you to trade with Holy. Alright. Don't say I never gave you nothing. <laughs> She's like, uh, uh, oh, right back. Alright, Holy and Hula. Stay over here, do your thing, I guess. Still have plenty of meat in there we need you to get rid of. And, uh, well. Oh, oh, the, the, oh, there we go. We're back at the disco zone. <laughs> Alright, so where is Hobbs, my gook? Hmm. So, Cook, Miyachara, and the Kremble Jun. I want you guys to head over here. So we can see what's going on here. Alright, we have plenty of food cubes. I love it. Not a ton of bread, though. Not any wheat straw. And none of that. We have success. We successfully have enough people to get rid of all of our foodstuffs really quick. That is a good sign. We have enough food to last us for a long time, too. So we are good there. These guys are busy doing their thing. Putting the stones in here. They're going to fill this up. And then all the interesting stuff will happen. And, alright, well, we are... Uh, all the green fruits ready to come out of the ground. Some of the wheat will be ready to come out soon as well. And Fu was standing there like, I have nothing to do in my life. Why? Why? <laughs> uh, Fuwa, so when you don't have anything else to do, come over here and help me with this, because you actually need those. Uh, now they are working at 100% speed. Very good. So, green thingies over here. I'm not sure what he'll do with his life right now. But alright, we're getting all this wheat done. That means more food cubes will be made. Yeah, we're just going to have this big harvest here. Where all this needs to come out of the ground, essentially. That means a ton of food is going to get made. A ton of fabrics will be made. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, I think everything that we make requires fabric, so... That makes perfect sense. Alright, Fen's doing his best. This just takes a while to make. That's fine. And where are we at, by the way? So we're at 95. Probably takes like a minute or like 10 minutes to get 1% or something. Um, so the best we can make is special. Well, the best we can make. We normally make specialist. The best we can make is masterwork. So that is always great. And hello, Action Shin and Tawane. How are you guys doing? It's going to be a relatively short stream today. And uh, when that's over with, we will uh, hopefully do something. But we're going to get this entire uh, thing harvested. Well, at least these. Yeah, everything's going to get harvested. And uh, then after everything is harvested, we will make our way over to some ruins and uh, take care of that. That's going to be great. 
Now, Hobbs and Crumble John, they are busy making their foodstuffs. This is what Silver Shade up to. Oh, yeah, he does all our research. He doesn't have anything to do. He could do advanced mining tech. That would free some people up. Um, I don't want to use my alpha core. My alpha course. Uh, what is a star sector? Star sector, Kenshi edition. Hi, right, guys. We're going to have our hammerhead, AK Beep, uh, show up, and he's going to do his unending barrage thing. Just imagine Beep has like two crossbows, has like two eagle crosses, and then like a toothpick in his mouth. And he's like. But, um. All right, so we're going to take care of all this stuff. <laughs> so, one of my roommates, we were chatting on uh, on chat, and we have a security system. And so he asks, you know, hey, what, what, what's the safe word at, you know, and then on like our location, I tell him it's bad. I tell him it's banana. <laughs> some of you might get the joke, some of you might not. I should have told him this is extremely a long German word. <laughs> That would have been great. Um, Alright, so the cotton's getting taken care of. That's always good. Our friend Criminal and other Criminal are helping us with that. Now we do need to, again, we do need to go somewhere so we can change Criminal and other Criminal's names. So that we can uh, at least do some of that. I see the, uh, the Hyver Clan is still going. <laughs> Imagine if those people like started making those things out of like bulletproof, like bullet bulletproof coat hats, <laughs> instead of like their bed sheets. <laughs> It'd be hilarious, hilarious in kind of a sad way. Um... <laughs> Some of you may not be getting what I'm joking about, but. Yeah, it, it's all in good fun. Don't worry about it. Um, okay, that one's going. This needs to get finished. Um, that one's good to go. That one's good to go. This one's good to go. That one is getting a little bit stale. That's fine, though. Like, these go fast. Alright, so we have, you know, not so many hours for that one, but it'll work out. Jeez, these are almost like, re almost ready to go again. <clears throat> no wonder we can make so much money. <laughs> Just selling nothing but, um, food cubes. Okay, well. This all gets done. Now they go over there. Okay, yeah, we're, we, we're perfectly fine. So, um... I'm assuming we have a ton of food. Yes. <laughs> Holy. Um, I need you to give these to Hola. But then, let's see. That one doesn't have a ton. Go ahead and put that in there. Okay, that works. Um, go ahead and put all that in there, and then all this bread in there. That should be fine. <clears throat> Make sure you pick up some of these. Just so we can stack that, um, that shopping center with as much as possible. So we're going to have these open up. We're going to have Beep come over here. Actually, instead of Beep, we'll have Silver Shake do it. Because Silver Shade. Well, he's great in that... <laughs> he's great in that um, we can take all of this relatively quickly and take all that out. Put all these food cubes in there. People will pay a, a king's ransom for them. 
And that should work. Now we can take uh, all of this back and just throw that bread in there so they can make more food cubes more quickly. All right, my friend. All right, sounds good. And now the last one, we just dump it all in there. Sounds fantastic. How much food do we have in here? Not much. All right, then. Sounds great. Go and... Uh, actually, let's just dump all this fish in there. I mean, that's fine. I don't really care. So long as they have lots to eat. We couldn't care less. All right, so... What was that? Mmm, so hungry now. He is very hungry. He'll probably run into somebody and get jacked up. So, you know, it is what it is. Random skull on the ground. And, let's see, are those more cannibals? No, those are dead cat drifters and flotsam ninjas. Sounds good. Over here is a fight. Over here a fight is happening, though. There is this guy. He's lost the use of his arm, so he's probably going to go down. We have Aramachi fighting Mr. Cannibal. Are the Lost Air Warriors, like, dead? Or are they still just spawning? I thought I exterminated them. Or do they have different camps I'm not familiar with? They probably have smaller camps all over the place. And that's where they're spawning from. <clears throat> Because everything else is cannibal remnants. I think we would have to go and find like literally every camp that they can spawn from and just slaughter those. But yeah, it's not really worth it. Alright, so they're getting all that water. Oh, that's good. And uh, I think we might be ready to move out. Nothing's really due at the moment. I mean, these are close, but... If we just stay there, we'll we'll end up... Oh, hey! There we go. Very nice. So where are we, then? Oh, hey. Uh, so you've got Masterwork. You've got... Hmm, Specialist Grade. Don't have any Masterworks. But... That's master work as well, so 6380, 280. Oh, 80. The only, Yeah, I mean, it covers both legs pretty well. The, the only problem is it doesn't cover the belly as well. Um, UA's got that, so uh, Onaka, you come over here. Uh, let's see, that's the highest grade we've got on that. And you have high grades, so let's give you the highest grade we have here as well. Which is specialist. Fantastic. Also, uh, beep. Come over here. Come here, Goddy bro, beep. I've got you something. Okay. So you got those. Uh, you come on over here. It's high grade. We have another specialist grade we can give you. And we're going to give you the specialist grade uh, greaves as well. So you should be a lot tougher now. Alright, sounds good. Well, let's check everyone's inventories. Inventories, I guess. Alright, everything seems alright. Um, let's head off. Let's turn off everyone's jobs. Let's head over here. Let's have them at least open this so that we can dump all our food into Holy. And then, let's go slaughter some, some robots. Alright, let's dump all the heavy stuff. Like the water, we're gonna get rid of that. Okay, we're good. Alright, gents. Let's all head off. Go kill some robots. 
Now, robots in the game, they follow the same rules as animals. They effectively are animals. And that is, they... Ah, well, get some people patrolling our town, I guess. And uh, basically, as long as we're not there, stuff won't really spawn to come after us. So it's not that big of an issue. Not that big of an issue. But um, huh, we can go over to the floodlands we i think we said we were going to go up here to these watchtowers and such and just take care of those so let's go do that so we can slaughter big things as well no problem so things are pretty nice things are very nice all right oh no bugger off already okay so we have um, it looks like another TTV viewer. Oh no, one of those beak things. Not go near those. I mean, we can fight the entire nest. I mean, we could take them down, no problem. Okay, those are giving up, are they? This is the most give up worthy. Oh, okay, they're, they're attacking the cannibals that are trying to chase us. But we don't really care about killing the cannibals right now. They're going to get eaten by big things anyway, so who cares? Uh, instead, we're going to make our way away from those. But hello, Action Shin, Dewani, and Simweave. How is it going? No? Okay, sounds good. Don't have to talk if you don't want to. Right, let's head over to this ruin, and let's see what is behind door number one. Door number one is a Shrieking Bandit, and a bunch of stuff that isn't particularly important to me. <laughs> Alright, we'll just, we'll just ignore them. Wait, are they fighting someone? They are! All those bandits! I mean, all those those cannibals that we were chasing. Alright, so Leviathans, they can be really dangerous. But typically, well, typically, if you leave them alone, they will leave you alone. They're like, I don't know, felons in the, in the juvie ward. <laughs> if you mind your business, they will mind their business. If you don't mind their business, they will, uh, they will handle you. <laughs> Alright, so I know that somebody's wearing a backpack. Pick someone else. You are. We're gonna take that off of you. And everyone else is just fine. Alright, let's keep going. We want to find some stuff that we can loot. Hello, uh, SP LeFest. How are you doing? Alright, so we've got these Garu... Um, we have these Garu packs here. Now, the Garu packs, they, they generally will leave you alone. They don't really care. I think we're lagging? Uh, yeah, I think we might be lagging. But, what's up, my dude? How you doing, Ed? Uh, slip and fast. Slip fast. Spit fast. Spit fast. Anyway, you can tell me how it's supposed to be used. How it's supposed to be pronounced. But, what's up? Is it spill fast? Spell fast? Alright, so, let's go find... A... Oh man, oh no, that poor beak thing. Spliff fest. Like, okay, sounds good. <laughs> so we, we saw, we're getting to see what happens when um, a beak thing decides to pick a fight with a Garu pack. 
<laughs> it just gets absolutely wrecked. <laughs> Gauru can be pretty dangerous. But yeah, uh, you have any questions about Kenji? I can probably answer a lot of your questions, if you're new. I also have a guide on YouTube. You can check that out as well. Oh, an outpost. But it's an acid, right? Is this colored water supposed to be acid? Do I have a mod that removed all the acid? Hmm, maybe. Okay, well. Third day, just kind of base building PvP, this is up and out. Alright, sounds good. Hey, you know, sometimes that, that's all you can do. <laughs> like, sometimes that's what you need. Oh no. I don't want to get too close to these Leviathans. Leviathan might just say you what, mate, and then that'll be it. <laughs> um, let's see. Alright, let's quick save. Let's try to move everyone over here, I guess. Oh no. They're very unhappy about us being here. Um, so I do have a piece of advice for you. So go down to Squin and buy a buy an advanced splint kit and a, an advanced first aid kit. Uh, these are the first. The advanced versions are just leagues ahead of the basic and the whatever the intermediate grade is called. Um, part of the reason for that is when we look at the advanced first aid kit, it has charges and quality. And so I think every one charge of the advanced first aid kit is worth 20 charges of the basic first aid kit. Because the basic first aid kit's quality is five. So I think you need to use literally 20 times as many basic first aid to make one charge here so like that's that that's kind of a big thing um i bought these at the very beginning of the run for fun and we're still using them like i think at this point on youtube we're like this is like 30 episodes worth so <laughs> so yeah it's uh it's definitely it lasts for a while oh no that's not necessarily good um we have to fight them okay shrike do it. He's in the water. Well, that's not good. Because they, they can attack us in the water, but we can't attack them and he can't move for some reason. Uh, well, maybe we'll make it to the water. Maybe. But animals can attack you in the water and they run across the bottom of the water. Alright, let's have everyone move at their own speeds. And let's have beep. He's in the water. Okay, so here's what we're gonna need. We're gonna need Beep and Fen to like go over there and allow us to. Okay, Beep and Fen, you guys are gonna fight that one. Silver Shade and Green Vingear, you guys are gonna fight that one. UA and Shrike, you know what? I'm gonna have you guys not do that. I'm gonna have Beep and Fen. Do that. Okay, well, he's coming back towards us, so you two do that. Alright, so green, um, let's have you. Let's have all of you use hold at the moment. Um, Alright, so I need UA and Shrike to go after this guy. Oh uh, yeah, so you can box over them to select a lot of people. You can also hold shift, select a lot of people. Um, control doesn't do anything for me, it just makes it to where stuff sort of like bounces around. But um, alright, 
So, green finger, silver shade is over here fighting that. That's good. So, I'm gonna have you do that. What are you? Oh, he's of the tech hunters. That's good. Break. Go around the back and then attack him in the back. Um, Fen. Move up and assist. So, with animals, they all do AoE damage. So, um, they can be quite a problem. So if I have all these guys attack, say, this peak thing, it'll hit like five, six of them at once. And this and this uh, robot spider, the security spider, will hit like, I don't know, like five, six, seven people at once. Because they just AoE by default. Now, whenever you knock something out, an animal, you want to run over and uh, like loot something from them. It doesn't matter what it is, but before it was alive and now it's dead. Uh, green finger. No, 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 no. Do not do that. Um, UA. We have the second hunter helping us. But UA, go ahead and move away. Ugh. The speak thing is starting to go down. The tech hunter is sort of taking the brunt of the damage here. Yeah, so only the person who is directly attacked will block, as far as I understand. So everybody else will just get hit. So we actually want to turn everybody here on hold, have them move away, and then have Beep and Fen continue to fight this thing. We'll turn us, we will turn us off of hold. But we need Beep to, like, go around that. Oh, okay, good, it's done. Now, Mariancha, I want you to come over here. Good. Um, let's see, let's put all of... <laughs> Beep, open it up again. Uh, hold up. So I want all of... <laughs> so I want all of that over there. And then, holy... Question who, who whom I should rename to like Foodie or something. Um, you're going to have all the meat. Okay, right, Mariacha. So I want you to open that and take one thing out, so it dies. Sounds fantastic. All right, let's have everyone get together. Turn off hold and. Perform your jobs, everyone. I'm guessing Beep got patched up. Yeah, right, patched himself up. Alright, so we have these beak things walking around at the water. They are part of the reasons the water is so dangerous. Can I fight stuff over here? Yeah, this seems like it might be a platform we can fight on. So that can be useful. But we do still need to get this beak thing's attention. It's running away from those. Well, that's interesting. Alright, come on, big thing. Get out of the water. Excellent. Go kill it. Yeah, we're not going to catch it if it's running. Alright, so. Here's what I want to do. We're going... Oh, this, this wants to dance, does it? Alright, sounds fantastic to me. Bring it on. Turn everyone on hold. And a beep. Go get his attention and Fen go around it back. Alright, so this is another thing that's kind of interesting. So how Hello old Ben, how's it going? Old Ben prop. So in the game, we have a new player here. So in, in the game, whenever you hit someone. Most weapons and most enemies will do cut and blunt damage. So we see here that beep, the the raw damage done by the spider to beep was 20, I think, cut, and 18 blunt. Now, 17 of the cut was reduced, so we took 2 cut damage, and 7 of the blunt damage was reduced. So he took 11 blood damage. 
Now, I'm using a hacker, which does 30% extra damage to robots. So, when we see this, we get these two numbers. It's this plus that, and that's fine. And it isn't going to show like that. So it hit us for a ton of damage comparatively to Beep. Uh, this would have been like 74 damage. 74 cut damage. Like right off the bat, which would have been a ridiculous amount of damage. Let's turn everyone off a hold. Let's have, uh, I guess, Fen take something out of it. So it dies. All right, sounds good. Everyone's getting taken care of. Fantastic. You really want to kill those when, when you knock them out. Because if you don't, they are going to get up and they are going to ruin your day. So, we're going to quick save again. And we're going to try coming over here. Because maybe we can fight in there. Also, people will try to take the shortest route to get somewhere. So, if, if, if there's a shorter, easier way to get somewhere, they will try to take it. You can always mouse over an enemy and see if it's hostile. Alright, so what do we have here? There are books, various materials. No, just just animals and robots, unfortunately. Not even skeletons, because they're like considered MP they're considered humanoids. But humanoid enemies, the only real way you can effectively kill them is by getting their head, stomach, ch or chest to like negative whatever its normal full is or getting its blood to minus whatever its normal full is. So if, we, so if our blood drops to like I think negative 120 I think on Fen, then Fen dies. Or it might just be negative 100. Um, but what that means is if you have a weapon that does a lot of cut damage you can bleed people out and they'll die that way. And when they get back up, if you bleed them out, they'll continually bleed out uh, fairly quickly. If you cut off a limb, they will bleed out uh, like an absurd amount. So <clears throat> the the short answer is not without a mod. There's probably a mod that adds that functionality. But the long answer is you can. It's just not as easy as you think it is necessarily. How I will do it is I'll just camp on top of them, so when they get back up, I put them back down. And that tends to work pretty well. Okay, well this guy's in the water, so we can't attack him. A bit problematic. Alright, let's have beep. Oh, okay, now he's, now he's activating, he wants some. That's good. Let's have beep come over here. Um, bad. He doesn't want some. He just wants to walk around. Sounds good. All right. So beep and fen. Now let's have fen turn off that. Go to normal speed. I don't know if they can see see us. But I'm gonna have fen start sneaking. So he can go in here and sort of pop his head in and look around. Doesn't look like there's any major problems here, so that works for me. Is there anybody upstairs? Yes. Beep. Go attack him. Alright, Fen, go join. Alright, so Fen, we're going to have you peel off a little bit. Beep. Show him who's boss. He's in the water. It's not necessarily a good sign for us, because he can fight in the water and we can't. Alright, let's try to sneak outside. Ah. And this is why having crap underwater doesn't really work too well in the game. Okay, we, we probably have to go upstairs. We'll just reload it if it doesn't work. Okay, let's get those taken care of. And let's see. 
I, be, I need you to get his attention. Wait, is he like on the cusp of upstairs and not? Where is he? What happened? Did he teleport away? Alright, sounds good. I'll see you later then. Yeah, I guess he like built the planet or something? Anyway, that works. Alright, well. Let's see. What can we find here? I need to get some stuff. Um, let's see. Okay, that's nice. And what else we got? Cool, good picket. Damn. Damn. <laughs> There's ten percent chances. Um, okay, we don't need that. Who's this safe? Go and try to pick that, I guess. Alright, this might be a little bit of time. The spiders seem to be taking off, so that's good. Um, we can take this pull arm, I guess. Anything in there? No, no. Uh, got some hemp. That's nice. Don't need it. Alright, we have a Masterwork Samurai Helmet. Take it. Um, let's see, what are the penalties for this? Melee attack bonus go down. Perception go down. Dodge go down. So there's really, there, there's no major downside to putting that on our, uh, on our DPS characters. Aside from, they are slightly not as good at hitting things. It's not really that big of a problem. I think I'll pick this. Fantastic. We have a spring bat that we don't use. Nice. And another shop counter. We don't need any of that. Alright, let's go and see what else is around here. Metal plates. That's all good. What's in there? What? Where are you going? Right. Interesting. Interesting choice. Now, leather storage. That's empty. All right, cool. He's swimming back around. He, he knows what he wants to do. And, okay, got not a whole lot in there that's particularly important. Sounds good. Got another old world crossbow. I was kind of hoping I would find some ancient science books, but it doesn't look like that's been the case thus far. Alright. Sounds good. I might have already checked these. Yeah, I already did. Okay, so. Not a whole lot over there, so let's get out of here before they show back up, I guess. Let's make our way out of here. Let's make our way back to the shore. For some reason, all the spiders have buggered off. Hope the Gyro will leave our Gyro alone. That'd be nice. And yeah, all those good old Leviathans. Alright, well, you know, we got a little jacked up because of how the game's set up. You can't fight in the water. Which makes sense. The enemies can fight in the water. Uh, I think that's a flaw with the game, but it is what it is. It's usually... Like, in, in base Kenshi, like, this is never an issue. <laughs> to my knowledge. In modern Kenji, this becomes an issue. So, you know, don't have to worry about it. But right, guys, it does look like it's all the time I have right now. It's been a really short stream, 42 minutes. 